Hey Moglets, I know I'm a bit late, but we're finally gonna be raising Kujo Sara. We have at least been preparing for her quite a bit, so we should not have too much farming to do. But first, let's just go ahead and raise her. There she goes to level 20. Yeah, we should have easily enough of this stuff. The books I am a little bit concerned of. Oh, and I think we will need to fight the uh, Electronid at least twice more, perhaps. Here we are getting that third star though. And here we are at level 60. Fourth star, actually we might need some of these dendrobiums. I thought we had basically all we needed though, but maybe not. And we are out of the hero's wit, so I think we will have enough of these since we still have over... Oh man, that was a lot of wasted XP. Oh no, thankfully we do have enough for level 80. We just need a few more runs here, okay. Two runs if we're super lucky. Let's see what our first drop is, it's a two. So yeah, unfortunately we couldn't just get a double three. What's this plume? actually could be quite good. And honestly, the more and more I'm fighting the Electronid, the more annoying he becomes. Or it's all the little things I notice, like him always like going up a little bit too high into the air and then doing his twirl attack and ending up on the other side of the field and then warping back. Just like so much running back and forth, like just stay still and die. I guess while we're waiting for him to revive, we can uh, go do some other things, grab these real quick. I also did try doing this once without Zhongli. And I gotta say, I I feel really sorry for the not Zhongli havers. This guy does so much damage, which I can basically just ignore because of his shield. I mean, granted, there are some other strong shields out there, so it's not the end of the world. Da like, look at this dude. He's being annoying on purpose. He knows he has no chance. Whatever, what's our drop here? Three now, but it doesn't matter. Now we're missing one and we have to do it again anyway. Dang, what's up with this plume luck today though? Crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge. I want to get that to four while we're waiting. See what the fourth sub is. It was a three sub, which is inherently worse than four subs, but it could potentially be a perfect one. And I noticed the other day while I was equipping one of my characters for that event, the uh, challenge arena, that I really don't have a lot of gladiator rays. I thought I had way more rays. Where the hell is it? I'm mainly looking for attack percent here. Maybe if it's elemental mastery, it, it still counts on, uh, depending on the character. Just throw that thing in there. So I would have preferred attack percent, but I guess you can't have them all. Still could be a very, very nice like Klee artifact, perhaps. Last run here. All right, there we go. It doesn't really matter what we get now. Maybe another amazing artifact, not Really? Yeah, now we got a double three and when we didn't need to. Oh well, we will need to for god mode But unfortunately, I don't do god mode showcases for four stars until they're c6 and we didn't get super lucky with Kujo Sara So yeah, that's gonna have to wait a bit. I still haven't totally decided if I'm gonna try and get a c2 uh, A maybe we'll consider it just to try and get more Sara's also Let's see what we do have and what we're missing though. So we got a cooldown reduction for her E, also uh, her attack boost. I believe she has attack boost both on her E and her Q, so I want to compare that to Benny's attack boost as well. I imagine it won't be nearly as strong, especially because my Benny is, you know, C6, she has really good stuff on, but uh, we'll see. So a little cooldown reduction there, and on C2, yeah right, we'll, we'll get an extra crow feather. So when she does her E, she'll leave one of those, and then to leave the other one, she has to do a charged shot. And then that, I guess, is the position where the attack buff is and something will explode. C3 is just a skill bump, but apparently her two attack buffs don't stack either, so it doesn't matter too much. It seems to mostly just be a DPS boost for her, so um, not something I'm super concerned with. C5 being a skill bump. Oh, oh my god, though, her C6. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I might have to go summon again. So Sara and A together, man, I can imagine. Or even maybe Kaching. It's very weird though. It's only the crit damage of electro damage, but it doesn't really matter for our unelectro built Kaching or A because they can do electro most of the time anyway. C6 Sara, I think could definitely make electro viable, even though electro still has pretty bad uh, reactions, but that's pretty crazy. I really want her at C6 now. Might have to do like a super god mode showcase for A. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that final ascension going. Not final, but final for the video. Don't got much choice but to max that out and waste more XP because I don't get those little adventure books anywhere. Go ahead and grab that as well. Dang, we're already back up to 30 of those? I have no idea where I keep getting them. I don't, I, I'm not buying them from the shop. I mean, th those five per like month or whatever. I guess I'm just raising a lot of characters. There must be something else, but. I don't want to think about it right now. I'm not going to do anything with her basic attack. I don't think she is main DPS material. I think she's more of a support buffer sort of deal. 
Oh, and she is like Benny. The attack boost is based on her base attack, which means artifacts don't really matter. It's only her level and her weapon, which I guess for this showcase, we're gonna steal uh, the highest base attack bow I have because I believe Benny also has a 670. Okay, he has a 608, but he's also level 90. So if I wanna try and compare them, um, it would be fair to have them as close base attack as possible. No, Benny has a little bit less, but it's not much. So 799 to 848. So she has about 50 more. So let's just see. I have 1997 attack on my Hu Tao right now. There is this. Okay. Oops. I think I just gave the bonus to herself. You have to be quick. Let's try that again. Okay. Definitely not bad. Now we're at 2361. And that's just her E, you know. Benny needs his ult. And of course, with Benny, I can't use him with a lot of comps because, you know, he's C6. It's not as much as Benny, but also it's still level one. So that attack bonus ratio will go up. I don't know how high, but uh, I'm not sure if I even need to do her ult. Obviously, like, if I'm going to seriously use her as, like, a support, I would want to because it can also do some good damage. But I think for now, I want to focus completely on her E because that is very easy. Well... You need to be careful because it explodes really fast. You can, of course, do the charge shot to make another one, but that would probably be a little too slow as well. Like in the heat of battle, you don't want to have to aim a charge shot for basically no damage and then, you know, run over there to it. So she would have to be the last one in the rotation before the main DPS comes out, like uh, Hu Tao in our case. Also, I kind of want to try Benny and her together. I, I would assume they stack. Sara, A, Zhongli, Benny. That sounds pretty good, because I can still use Benny with A. Uh, but anyway, kind of getting a little excited here. The attack bonus, unfortunately, does only last six seconds, and I don't think that it will go up, but let's just go ahead and start raising it. Uh, but we're going to get this as high as we can, which is probably eight uh, for now. Oh, yeah, I mean, it would be eight if I wanted to use these, which I'm not too sure if I do, honestly. A would still have a higher priority for me. Ah, uh, it's a hard choice though. It really doesn't go up as much as I thought it would. Like, Benny's is over 100%, though he does have the constellations for that as well. Yeah, he has 119 bonus ratio. So I don't think it'll ever be that high. And of course, Benny's last twice as long with only a 50% higher cooldown. So as long as you don't have a C6 Benny, he probably is going to be the better buffer. Until, of course, she herself is C6 and can give that 60% crit damage bonus to electro damage. Then that can be pretty crazy. It would line up pretty nicely to uh, A's ult duration at 7 seconds. So, you, you know, maybe her last two hits or something wouldn't have that extra crit damage. But I think... It lines up pretty nice. I wish he just had like seven or eight seconds instead of six and maybe a higher cooldown. But all right, we'll go ahead and get this to seven, sure. Then it goes up to 69 at eight. Unfortunately, her C3 goes to her burst. We need to get her all the way up to C5. And then, of course, may as well get her to C6 for that. Ah, man, I'm really, really tempted. If we are going to do that, though, it wouldn't be in this video because I'm just focused on raising her for now. We are going to get her ult up to six. So there we go. Very nice and high multiplayer on it. 573. So, you know, when I would deck her out with some decent artifacts, I can imagine she would do some uh, solid damage as well. And I mean, while her attack bonuses cannot stack, they can refresh the duration, this uh, six second duration. I don't know how exactly that would help with someone like A, where you need to stick with A during her burst anyway. So I don't think there's a way around that. Let's go back to Hu Tao real quick. So we saw that 1997. I'm just gonna do her Q and then go to Hu Tao real quick. Okay. Does she have an attack boost? She does. Now it's 2,500. So over 500 attack boost there. I think Benny gives a little more than 1,000. So I'd say to compete with Benny, she would definitely need to be C6. Uh, Benny has, of course, some other things going for him as well. And so does Sara. So they are different. I would say Sara is more niche. So she's going to be really, really good with the Raiden Shogun. Electro Kaching, of course. Any other Electro character that can do a lot of Electro damage. A not C6 Benny is going to be good for everyone and is also a healer, so it's really hard to compare. I imagine she'd be able to do a lot more damage than Benny as well. Benny has a little 13 skill here with 495 skill damage. She has 573 at level 6, so it's going to be around twice as strong multiplier-wise. But yeah, in terms of pure buffer, I would say Benny still takes the cake. Like, again, his last twice as long. You can basically do your full rotation while standing in his ring. And then three seconds after it ends, you can, you're can you ready for another one, you know? The timings with Sara and her six second duration are going to be pretty tight. In terms of artifacts, I just can't help but feel like these new ones we got. So like Emblem in her case would just be 
great. I think four piece oblige would be also really good, you know, just make her your like centralized super attack booster, you know? Of course, for oblige to proc, you need to do her burst. So I think that's what I'll do for now. The artifacts aren't anything special. Got some crit rate, energy recharge, attack here. Crit damage, attack, energy recharge here. Sands, we're going energy recharge. That's elements mastery and a bit of attack. Pretty bad sands, but yeah. I'm going energy recharge because her ult needs 80, and I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm gonna go with uh, A yet. An electro damage goblet. That's just generally what you do in 99% of the cases. Got some crit damage and attack. It's a pretty good goblet actually for being what it is. And then a crit damage circlet because the only other circlet I had was attack percent on the oblige set. We do have a crit rate here. So depending on her ratio currently, I might swap it. Yeah, I might need to swap it. We're at 37 to 162. So we'll give her this plus 16. It's actually not horrible. Has some attack and crit damage on it. Let's just bump it up to 20, sure. Ooh, nice. We got some crit damage. All right. Maybe it's not too bad now. Let's give it a look. Final, I ooh, ah, I'm glad crit damage went up. <laughs> uh, it's just not that great in general. 1871 attack, uh, crit rate to crit damage ratio. She has a lot of energy recharge, which is kind of what I was going for, because again, I do want to make sure I can do her burst every now and then. I feel like it's going to be pretty strong as it already has a high multiplier. Oh man, we've already been recording for 45 minutes and we haven't even gotten to the gameplay yet. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what, what, what I'm supposed to do with her. I guess we're just gonna start with this and do a charged here. Okay, that, that missed. Oh, okay, but wait, the second one actually stays there for a while. I don't know if our Hutao actually has an attack boost right now. It's a little hard to see because she always has an attack boost. Let's just go ahead and do her E again, swap to Hutao. You have to be pretty quick with that. And also I should probably get a shield. Yeah, I should have. I mean, her attack boost does seem to be doing something. One thing I was curious about is uh, if it's only the first character that hits the E that gets the attack boost. So first of all, I have to check. So yeah, we're still at 1997. What is our Zhongli at right now? 1639. So we're gonna go to her, go to Hu Tao, make sure we got the attack boost. We did. Go to Zhongli. Okay, no, it's only for the one it actually hits, her little E thing. That, uh... I mean, I guess when it's a six second attack boost, it doesn't matter that much. As long as you're going straight to your main DPS, they're generally gonna be on the field for more than six seconds anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to see that. I mean, we can of course try the team I was talking about as well, but I will definitely need some practice with it because again, the timings are kind of tight. Here we just have this balloon, so. The bad thing with this team is there's actually not a ton of damage uh, until <laughs> AA gets her burst. Oh wait, now I have to. I mean, you know, 4,700 for a charge attack without any boosts really is not bad. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but okay, let's give this a try. So, Benny, uh, we'll, we'll do both, I guess. Shogun, I guess, now. I, I, I didn't see anything. Oh, I mean, this wasn't the best guy to try it on. He's an electro guy with a shield right now. But whatever, just give you an actual sort of comparison. Like, again, it's not really fair. Like, Benny's is level 13. He has 119. At level 13, which is actually just as easy as Benny since they're both four stars, will be 91.29, which I think will give her almost the same attack boost considering she has a higher base attack than Benny. I don't think that would fully close the gap, but it's close. And for people like me with a C6 Binny, Sara's gonna be the best bet for like a Eula comp. Actually quite good, cause she can do pretty consistent Electro as well for those Superconducts. But yeah, we have 2450 attack here with our Raiden Shogun. We're gonna do Sara's first, head to her. That's really quick, you gotta be fast. Now we have 2996, so a little over 500. It's back down, we have 2450 doing binnies. Now we have 3561, so over a thousand. And just to make sure, I'm gonna see if they can stack. They can indeed, we have 4100 attack now. Very nice. Let's finish up our daily quest here. I do wanna try her burst at least once and look at the numbers. Although again, it's not gonna be that impressive cause she is built just for being a support right now, which, you know, is fair because it's probably how I'm going to keep her anyway. All right, so we're just going to start with Vinny's ult here, uh, and that's actually it. Uh, we're going to do her burst and then her burst. I saw... I don't know. I'll have to slow that down. I don't know if that was, like... I know I saw a 9k, but I'm not sure if I also saw, like, a 3k or if that was a 30k. I doubt it was a 30k. Oh, that was actually it for dailies. Now we're just boosting Zhongli for whatever reason, which seemed to actually do not bad. But yeah, we have like two boosters here. We can also do her ult, 
Dang, that was a 40k. Another really cool thing about Sara is we finally have five characters that have reduced time, so I'm actually using them now for that. I remember people you used to get so like pissy over me throwing Kaching and Mondstadt. <laughs> and I'm like, I do that on purpose because I don't want four characters with 15 hours and the last one with 20. It just throws everything off. But of course, five with 15, that's nice. But I think for now that'll do it. I really wanted to just raise her and, and talk about her uh, buffing capabilities. Honestly, a lot of the other stuff like her uh, sub DPS potential isn't going to really be realized uh, yet. I do still want to get her C6 so bad. Um, so I might try that a little bit later, but yeah until then make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below Dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well Thanks as always for watching and until next time